Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... So we've cut out our templates um, to trace around onto the roof, should make it a bit easier as the angles are a bit dodgy when you're drawing onto the ceiling. Um, so we'll see how this goes then shall we? That was very difficult. Um, good job that I chose to do the template way because there's no way, I don't think there's any way you'd be able to do that without using a template. Um, your hands are shaking because you're just like that the whole time. Um, something that I realised just like as I was doing it, as I only did one one template for the for the flames that coming off the sun. Um, there is a chance that as you work your way around it's not going to join up again properly um, when you get back to the beginning and so it's a good idea to if you've done when you've done them measure the distances around the sun and then we'll have a look here we go then it looks pretty good i do if i don't say so myself very nice so to paint this i have got these just normal acrylic canvas type paints use nice orange and yellow got this just a range of brushes from like a, just an arts and crafts set um, and found this beauty the best part of arts and crafts is that you can use anything I got this little bit of polystyrene got three holes with three different types of paint and then mix it in this section here. Make sure mix in tray thing. So let's have a let's have a good paint in this then shall we?
so the tangled sunlight design pattern is completed and painted on um, for now until I think there could be something else on that um, and I think it looks pretty good let's have a look <sighs> so difficult to do it on the ceiling. Oh, my neck is in tatters. But yeah, phase one complete. And now it's time for part two of the ceiling decoration. Not the roof, the ceiling. Um, I'm gonna cut my template out like I did last time. I'm gonna cardboard, trace it all onto the roof, ceiling, sorry, and then paint it on. Uh, so let's get going. So now I have the cloud traced and cut out looking lovely and just need to get some ladders and trace it onto the ceiling before we paint it on. Right so Right So the clouds have been stenciled on. Um I didn't film it because it's quite boring, but uh, let's have a look. There's a few. I don't kind of like a mismatch diagonal kind of thing. They're all over the place. Right. Let's see how long this takes then. So the clouds are on, they're painted, lovely. Um, I've gone through one coat and then wait for it to dry, done another coat and I've just mixed this with a little grey. Just to add a bit of shadow onto some of the some of the uh, the marshmallow type bubbles on the clouds. So I'll do that and then let's have a look quickly um, change my mind on the grey um, don't really think that's going to work right now anyway I'm going to have another look at that but for now the ceiling is complete as you can see behind me I'm going to do another little design just around the sun um, but that's gonna be a pretty big, uh, big section. So I'm gonna save that for another another video. But yeah, the sun and clouds are completed. Um, I want to get that thing done around the sun quickly because the ceiling painting is really annoying me because it's too difficult. Just gonna draw on the walls, paint easy. Um, but yeah, for now. The ceiling is done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 